In this video, I will walk you through the basics of Figma in a way that's simple and easy to follow. By the end of this video, you will know how to create professional looking UI designs even if you are brand new to it. And the best part, we will get it all done in just few minutes. <music> one of the most popular tools for designing user interfaces and for good reason. It's cloud-based so you don't have to worry about installing bulky software and it's completely free to get started. Another thing I love about Figma is how collaborative it is. You and your team can work on the same design file in real time. Whether you are building a website, a mobile app or just experimenting with wireframes, Figma has everything you need. So, the first thing we will do is set up our workspace. Once you log in into Figma, you will see an option to create a new design file. Click that and you will be taken to a blank canvas. Now, let me quickly explain the layout of Figma. On the left, you have the layers panel where all your design elements will be organized. The middle part is your canvas. This is where you will actually create your design. And on the right, you have got the properties panel. This is where you can change things like colors, sizes and other options. Think of it this way, the canvas is your drawing board, the layers panel is like folder system and the properties panel is where you make all the magic happen. Now that we have got the basics covered, let's add our first design element, a frame. Frames are like containers that define the size of your design, whether it's a desktop layout or a mobile screen. To create a frame, press the F key or click on the frame tool from the toolbar. You will notice some preset sizes on the right hand side like iPhone 14 or desktop. Let's pick the iPhone size for this example. This will give us a blank mobile screen to start designing. Next, let's add some shapes to our frame. For example, let's create a rectangle to act as a header. Select the rectangle tool by pressing R and drag it across the top of the frame. You can resize it by clicking and dragging the corners and you can change its color using the fill option in the properties panel. Okay, now let's add some text to our design. Press the T key or click on the text tool, then click anywhere on the canvas to start typing. For example, let's type welcome back as the title for our screen. Once you have added your text, look over to the properties panel. Here you can customize the font, size, alignment and color. Let's make this text bold and increase the font size to 24 pixel to make it stand out. Using good typography is super important in UI design. For example, use larger, bolder fonts for headings and stick to a readable size like 16 pixels for body text. Colors play a huge role in design, so let's make this screen visually appealing. Click on the rectangle we created earlier and go to the fill option in the properties panel. Here you can select any color you like or enter a hex code if you want a specific shade. Now let's make it even cooler by adding a gradient. Click the drop down next to fill, select linear gradient and adjust the gradient stops. For example, you can create a smooth transition from blue to white for a modern clean look. One of the best features in Figma is components. Let me show you how to create one. Let's say we have a button for sign in. Once you have designed the button, right click it and choose create component. Now this button can be reused across your design. The amazing thing is if you change the component like updating its color, it updates everywhere it's used. Now let's add some visuals, drag and drop an image from your computer directly into the frame or you can use a plugin like Unsplash to search for free stock images. For icons, Figma's community tab has tons of plugins like feather icons or material design icons. You can quickly grab a lock icon for a password field or a profile icon for a user avatar. Now, let's make things easier by exploring a pre-built Figma template. Templates are a great way to get a head start on your design. Go to Figma's community tab and search for mobile app template or website template. Once you find one you like, click duplicate to add it to your workspace. Now let's make some adjustments. Templates are a great way to learn because you can see how professional designs are structured while making them your own. Finally, let's turn this static design into an interactive prototype. In the top right corner, switch to the prototype tab, drag a blue arrow from one button to another frame, creating a clickable link between the two. To preview your prototype, click the play button in the top right corner. Now you can interact with your design as if it's a real app. 
Now that we have created our design, let's talk about how to share it or download it for use. One of Figma's best feature is how easy it is to share your designs with anyone. Click the share button in the top right corner of the screen, enter the email address of the person you want to share it with or generate a link to share. You can control the permissions, allowing others to view, comment or edit the design. This is perfect for getting feedback from your team or showing your work to a client. If you want to save your design to your computer, select the frame or element you want to download. In the right side properties panel, click on the export section choose the format PNG, JPG, SVG or PDF and click export. For example, you can export a logo in SVG format for developers or download a screenshot of your app in PNG to showcase it. With these features, you can easily share your work or save it for presentations and development. It's as simple as that. And that's it. You have just created your first UI design in Figma. In this quick session, we covered setting up your workspace, creating frames and shapes, adding text, customizing colors, using components and even building an interactive prototype. The more you practice, the better you will get. Start with small projects like designing a login screen or a simple homepage and build your skills from there. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials and let me know in the comments below what you will design next.